Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm excited for this one. The subject of today's video is... Bam, guys. Got me the Sonic Shake right here. Reese's, Reese's Classic that is. I didn't want to get anything too crazy. Mm. Well, actually, guys, I haven't been honest with you. Sonic is not the subject of today's video. Well, at least this Sonic. The actual subject of today's video is this Sonic. Guys, it's just that I was craving a milkshake and doing Sonic the Hedgehog kind of allowed me to fit Sonic into the equation, this Sonic. But the reason why I'm doing Sonic the Hedgehog is because a viewer requested that I draw Sonic the Hedgehog. Her name is Evie from the UK and she requested I do it. And so I immediately felt that would be a splendid idea. Splendid. They do say splendid in the UK, right? But anyways, yeah, she requested I do Sonic the Hedgehog. And the reason why I quickly agreed to it is because Sonic is associated with speed, fast, lightning, Sonic. I mean, Sonic just sounds fast. I feel energy when I think of Sonic the Hedgehog. I just like the energy coming from the name Sonic and the character itself. And like I said earlier, it gave me the perfect excuse to grab a Sonic shake, which I haven't had in quite a while. So before I move on to that Sonic, I'm gonna take care of this Sonic. Alright guys, I'm back home and without further ado, let's get this drawing started. All right guys, so I'm going to be using an 11 by 14 inch bristle paper. And a regular pencil. Whoop, that's not a pencil. And a regular pencil. Wrong again. And a regular pencil. There you go, mechanical pencil. And on with the sketch. So I'm going to be drawing Sonic in an action pose. I prefer to draw my characters in an action position as opposed to just standing there. I mean, I have drawn characters in a still standing position in the past, but I find more fulfillment when the character is more in an action pose. Uh, it just brings more energy to the art and drawing. I have been involved in the t-shirt industry, designing t-shirts for 20 years plus, working with major licenses like Lucas, Film, Star Wars, Marvel, Disney, and um, with the assets we work with, choosing action poses for the characters when designing t shirts just brings more energy to the t shirt as opposed to the characters just standing still. So, yeah, I prefer action poses, and that's what I'm going to do to Sonic. So, just for your information, I am writing the name Sonic in the background, but it's going to be kind of hard to see because part of the Sonic character is covering up part of the letters. Alright, so that's going to do it for the sketch. And now I'm going to break out the markers.
right, now for some help from the colored pencils. Hey, look, mister. Color. We save hot drinks in here for men who want to get drunk fast.
All right, guys, so that's just about going to do it for this drawing, but I am missing one final touch. All right, guys, you know I had to add the splatter effects. It is the perfect finishing touch to any artwork. If you're going for that raw, gritty street vibe, I mean, you know, to me, it just elevates artwork up a notch. You know, if your artwork is too clean or you have areas in the artwork that is too empty, you know, add some splatter effect. It's the perfect filler, perfect effect, perfect final touch. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, this one was for Evie or Evie. I don't know how you pronounce her name. Evie from the UK. If you happen to catch this video, this one's for you. You requested it. And if not, um, for everyone else, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So please don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Deuces.